sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. All right. Now we're back with part two of the uh, SDR trunk set up. So now that we have this up and running, what we can do is, when you load this up, obviously it defaults like this, but I want to show you something. I'm running a dual core older computer here for the purpose of this video. And uh, it has four gigs of RAM. And as you can see, and it's running a solid state drive running Linux Mint. And as you can see, the CPU usage. Now, if you're running a older computer like this or something that is taking up a lot of CPU and everything, you might want to disable your waterfall and spectrum. And we'll watch how this drops. So we'll right click, disable. We can slide this up because we're not going to use it. So now, go back to our H top here, and you can see how much this dropped big time. So that'll definitely help out. So anyway, I got my RTL plugged in, and uh, we're going to click on Playlist Editor. Now, if you got a premium account with Radio Reference, this is going to be a dream. And that's the way I'm going to show you here. So we'll click on Radio Reference. Over here, you'll want to click on Login and Log In with your credential. Once you're logged in, let's click OK. And here is where we're going to pick our country, state, county. So I just went, picked U.S., New Jersey, and Camp May for the uh, <clears throat> for the county. Now here, you'll want to click here, and we're going to click on a phase 25 here, P25. So we're just going to click that guy. Or we can go down here and we'll just click him. And we'll let that uh, load up here. Must be a pretty big one. All right. So we have it clicked here. So we're going to click on the talk group view. <clears throat> and you can see here. And we're just going to go ahead and import all of these. So we'll just hit that button there but the first thing we'll want to do is I want to make a list so we're just going to call this New Jersey but you can call this whatever you want to and now that that's selected we're going to click on import all talk groups so as you can see it did that so we're going to go back to channels and we're going to go up here to new P25 trunk. Then that list we just made, we're going to come down here, select it, save it. <clears throat> now we can add whatever you want to here. So you can put in a site, name, and a system. So we just saved it again there. Now here, you can have this auto start when you first launch the uh, software here. And to do that, you just click it and you can save it. And it selected it up here. And if you're running multiple feeds, you can select which priority you want it to be. So we'll just let it on one. If we scroll down here, and click on source you can click on a particular RTL if you have more than one plugged in and we have our C4 FM and our LSM 
and we're going to ignore data calls so we'll just click that <clears throat> you have your logging and recording if you want but obviously that would probably take more CPU and we're not going to worry about that and right here you need to select which one fits you so we're going to go ahead and turn that off because I don't want that on there but we're going to run this one here so anyway once you're done I can just delete that one because we'll just act like we're using this one we can click on play and now it's playing so we're done in this window so if we close out of it and we go back here we are now <clears throat> we'll uh, see if we get any traffic here Now, I don't have the speakers plugged in, so we're not going to hear nothing on it. But we'll be able to see if we get any uh, thing coming across here. And here's our RTL. We have that set on automatic. And you can rename this also if you want. You can name it whatever. So we'll go back to here. I'll pause this and wait for some traffic. All right. And now you can see here we have some traffic coming in. And if we go down here, we should start seeing some information popping up. But as you can see, it is working, and there's some encrypted information. <clears throat> so hopefully this kind of helps you out to get you started. And uh, maybe I'll do some other videos about this with this software here. And uh, stay tuned. I'll throw a link in the description uh, to my website for this information, and uh, thanks for watching.